Hello my loving Tiffany Thinks family, how are you all? I feel like I'm a bit all over the place. I feel, I think it's because I'm working a lot more and I just, I think it's because I'm not picking up the camera as much. I'm just kind of doing things and forgetting to pick up the camera to talk to you. So I didn't talk to you yesterday or the day before. Um, I, don't, I feel, I don't know, I feel like I'm in a bit of a block with picking up the camera I don't know I think it's because since being on holiday it's made me realize how important it is to make memories and kind of be in the moment but in the same time I enjoy making videos so it's kind of finding that balance of including my loved ones but also having moments for us as well so it's trying to balance it all out and for me I like having photos and videos and you know if you watched my TikTok videos even when we went on holiday I would just set up the camera and just kind of be in the moment and try not to think about the camera because I would just let it roll even if Matt and I were in a restaurant or we were going for a walk or if we were just I would kind of set up the camera and try not to think about it and be in the moment but also I like having those pictures, videos, moments recorded because it's amazing looking back and I think I need to just kind of find a balance if that makes any sense but I do need to be better at vlogging. This probably doesn't make any sense to you because I have been kind of putting out videos but usually I kind of record videos in advance you all know my videos are all kind of pre-recorded but I haven't been doing that I've just kind of I guess it's because I've been going to work and yeah I just need to kind of get myself into a bit of a routine again and um I always said YouTube is something I enjoy doing and it is my little place you know my little place that I can come and be me and I know that you all don't mind what kind of videos you see and I think I've just been overthinking it and kind of focusing on work I feel like there's a lot going on with work which is really exciting because I I haven't prioritized work at all because just because of everything that's gone on I feel I feel like I've been scared to kind of commit um, because I don't want to let anyone down, especially at work. But I do feel that fear of, that fear is kind of going away and I am committing to more and just making plans. I think for me, being an optometrist has was always my dream you know growing up since a young age I kind of knew what I wanted to do um I'm just doing the guru shot I spoke about this briefly last time don't follow my lead because I don't think I'm doing this right but I just kind of do this because I get really tense around here and I notice in the mornings that's where I feel it the most just I think I don't know whether I'm sleeping funny or I'm positioning my positioning my jaw funny but this has really helped I was telling my sister about this actually I was just saying that it just feels really really less tense when I do it I like to be better at doing this kind of morning and at night but sometimes I just don't have the time but today I'm gonna do it because it's like having a face massage um, and I feel really I feel like it's doing something I don't know if it's a psychological thing but it really does feel like I'm doing something in this area um, it just feels less tense and I just feel like I can move my jaw more um yeah what was I saying I was just saying um yeah with work I felt I felt like I was scared to commit and I I always wanted to be an optometrist from a young age I knew I did work experience I spoke about this briefly before I did work experience and I kind of knew that's kind of what I wanted to do and um so when I wasn't able to work and things were all over the place I felt a bit be a bit behind you know so much 
has happened and so much has changed and so I felt a bit behind but now I actually feel really good and really confident. I, I feel like I've done all the training and I feel really really confident so um, it is nice to kind of commit more to work and I always said when I was going through the cancer journey I kept saying work was never going to be my whole life because it does take over because it's what you do every day isn't it go to work and I feel like you're life for me anyways is centered around work and going to work and so I just feel like when I was going through that journey I didn't want to go back to working every single day just because I was overdoing it I was doing way more you know four or five days a week is enough doing seven days is too much that's when you feel weak and tired and just drained out and you don't end up enjoying your work sorry i thought there was something going on with my laptop um but it's fine you know when you overdo it and you do seven days you end up not enjoying your work because it feels like work if that makes sense so i feel like i've got a really nice balance where i'm working enough and enjoying what i'm doing and it feels good i feel like i'm in a good place it took me a while because i think it's because i'd taken so much time off work i needed to get to this place so i am really good and i'm really proud you know i'm really proud of myself and i i, pre I put a lot of pressure on myself and i i know that so i'm i need to kind of sit back and say yeah i am proud of myself and i've got to a point that things are good in kind of all aspects of my life and I I get scared saying that out loud because sometimes saying that out loud it puts extra pressure doesn't it I don't want to jinx it but I also know that God's protecting all of us and um, but I am in a very good place in my life I feel really calm and I just believe that things are good you know i do believe that in every aspect things are working out and i do believe things happen for a reason and i do believe we get taught loads of lessons and i really really pray to god that i've learned everything that i needed to learn and we move on in june i've got my scans coming up and i think i have been blocking it out a lot i don't really want to think about it so i'm not going to focus on it too much but we've got scans coming up i think they've only booked me in for a ct scan you know last time i had a ct and an mri on the letter it said just ct scan so i think if something appears on the CT then they'll do the MRI so that's a good sign you know that's a good sign I don't know if that will change when I go in and whether they want me to have both scans and um, but I've definitely got a CT scan booked in and a blood test booked in both on the same day I will vlog that day as well um, but let's not think about it too much <laughs> I don't want to think about it too much but I know um, we've got that in June and I think we will um oh i just feel like once that's done i can yeah i don't need to think about it for a long time it'll be amazing to just i just want to get to a point where scans are just one thing that happens in my life you know it's just i have to have a scan but not worry too much i'd love to get to that point um i know some of you have scans regularly and you've said to me tiffany each time i go to have a scan i get anxiety so don't worry this is normal i'd like to get to a point um where scans are just happening and i don't need to think about it but i know i know it's not like that because you go through a lot and scans gives the doctors a lot of information and so i understand why i get uh, about it but i've learned I've been good at blocking it out and just kind of living my life, you know? I've been living my life the way I want to live my life, you know? And that's good because I'm living for the moment and that's all I want. That's all I've ever wanted is just to live in the moment because that's all I can do. I can't, and that's all we can all do. We can't really plan too much in advance because life happens, life is lifing. We can't control it, so it's, one of those things it's nice to kind of have a plan but god has that plan already for you so you just kind of have to go with the flow 
right that's me done i need to get a good face oil um i feel like this would feel this experience would feel a lot nicer if i had a good face oil ginger shot time i'm gonna start the day off with this because yesterday yesterday we had so much food in the evening and i still feel kind of full i don't really like eating really late but yesterday we were just snacking all evening and um yeah so i'm gonna kind of have a late breakfast you all know i don't eat breakfast first thing in the morning anyways but i think i'm just gonna start the day off with um a ginger shot when we were on holiday i was making these like ginger drinks because where we were staying they had a juicing machine can you believe it you could make your own juice and i was making if you watch my tiktok i, I posted a video on tiktok um, but you can make, I made an apple and ginger shot and it didn't taste the best, but I felt good because on holiday, you don't usually, <laughs> you don't eat the best on holiday, do you? So when they had the juicing machine, I was so, so excited. I made a juice every morning and even sometimes during the day, I would kind of ask for a juice and oh it was so good it was so fresh and i think the fruits in italy i feel like everything in italy is incredible i had the best time and i know i've talked about it a lot a lot but i just loved it there so much it's honestly given me that excitement for holidays you know what i'm like i like being at home i'm such a homebody i love my home comforts i love my blanket i love my sofa i love being at home but that holiday has actually made me excited for holidays and going on holidays and you know i think it's because we did a bit of both we did exploring we'd had we went around the whole lake and then we rested up we stayed in a really nice kind of spa area and i feel like we we got the best of both worlds and i think going forward that's the kind of holiday i want i want to be able to kind of do both because it's so nice exploring and looking around the towns and walking into the shops, having fresh lemonade. But then to end the holiday, just to have a massage and just completely zone out was incredible too. And I, I want to go on another holiday, honestly. I really, really want to book another holiday so that it's in the diary. But I think there's just so much going on this year. We've got so many events, so many weddings, so many parties, so many other things that we need to prioritize, but I do want to go on another holiday. Right, cheers everyone. Mm. That is not good. <laughs> cuts my throat it feels like it's cutting my throat i feel like right this is good this is good i need to i honestly need to start making my own shots i actually need to do it because oh i feel i don't feel bad buying these because i know right it's good for me and i'd rather pick this up than pick up a chocolate bar or you know so i feel good buying these when i go to the shops but i know if i made it it's gonna be better. You know, I'll put all the fresh ingredients. Oh, someone's here. It is a lot later. My friend came over and she we needed she needed a bit of girly time. So I um, kind of shut off and spent some time with her. And it wasn't planned and I absolutely love that because I didn't really have any plans today. So it was just nice to kind of spend some time with her. It's a little bit cold. It's so weird. The weather keeps changing. I feel like last few days ago it was really really hot on the days that i'm at work it is so hot outside and then on my days off it's a little bit chilly but i'm kind of glad that the sun's gone in if you watched my last video you guys know i was talking about the heat rash and what i did is for the past kind of couple of days when i was at work and things i've been wearing a long sleeve t-shirt and just to kind of keep my arms away from the sun because when i get the heat rash it causes it to be really itchy and i realized when my arms were on show and the sun would kind of touch it it would make it worse and so i've been kind of covering up my arms and the heat rash has definitely gotten better and i'm just putting on e45 
Um, my sister said to try apple cider vinegar, but I don't know where I can get that. So I've just been using E45 and it feels a lot better. So, um, oh, I need to take my vitamins. I haven't taken my vitamins today. I have been really good at taking my um, supplements, my vitamins, and I also make sure Matt takes his because sometimes he forgets. So I think it's just important um, to take them. This one is the calcium, magnesium, and zinc. going to carry on reading because you know I took um, my book Happy Place I took two books on holiday and I didn't end up reading I didn't end up finish read finish reading the Happy Place and I'm gonna do that now just because Matt comes home from work soon and I do need to go on a walk but I'm doing that thing where I'm using the weather as an excuse not to go out for a walk I just feel a bit lazy but I know I will go on a walk I should do it because it's going to make me feel loads better and I think you know whenever I come back from a walk I feel super refreshed so I just got to do it <laughs> sometimes it's hard to leave your house when you feel really cozy it's just so hard to leave the front door isn't it you just want to stay in but um I have been very good at making sure what was that noise maybe it's my phone yeah, I have been very good. I just realized I forgot to wash this out. I put some milk in there. I need to do that. It's so nice to have a clean place. I, um, I've been staying on top of kind of cleaning. Usually I'll spend kind of a day cleaning. Matt and I will kind of dedicate a Sunday or a day just to clean, but we've been trying to be better at doing small, small kind of tasks throughout the week so that we don't have a, we don't have to do a big clean, you know? Sometimes on your day off, you don't wanna kind of stay in and clean, especially when the weather's nice. So we've been trying to be better at kind of cleaning as we go. And um, yeah, I think it's good. Especially kind of after dinner, we kind of get a bit lazy. And then we kind of think, oh, let's get into bed. But then we do a quick, quick clean up. And then in the morning, you always feel better when you wake up to a clean place, especially when you've got work. You don't wanna leave the house messy because then you come home to a messy house so yeah we've tried it i'm trying to kind of keep on top of it look at my apple watch it's trying to sync up with my new phone so it's just taking a while hopefully it kind of sorts out um i've tried to kind of do it a couple of times but i've done it manually now so hopefully it should work my darling is home from work and he's bought um food bits so I just wanted to show you this because it reminds me of our little holiday. So we were obsessed with, oh, well, do you know what it is, right? Oh. Remember these are the best biscuits we've ever had? Yeah. I think they were, weren't they? Yeah, they were lovely. They lasted about two days on the size. We ate so many, yeah, these ones were really good. Is that your favorite purchase? Yeah. It's because it's got lemon spinach and ricotta and we had the best pasta when we went on holiday and I know this isn't going to be that so it's just going to be us trying this and being like it's not like the one we had in Italy but it's still going to be scrumdiddlyumptious and it's got lemon in it so it reminds me of limone and oh my goodness fantastic shot isn't it? great shot look at that I'll tell you what I'm so excited about can I tell you coconut water and crunchy peanut butter. I'm not a fan of crunchy peanut butter on toast, but I love this in my smoothie, in my banana smoothie. This is scrumdily That's a great shot. Yeah, Matt is excited about this because last time he got this, we, um, we kind of got through this quite quickly. Have I had it before? No. Mmm. Darling, that is the best drink. Good question, isn't it? I like these a lot. These are nice. We'll go home. What now. direction? Left. 
Mm. We're just doing a little bit of a walk because I've had such a lazy day today. It's just been very chilled. I feel like it's not a lazy day. It's a self-care, relaxed day. So we're ending it with a little walk. It's nice, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's a nice kind of time to go for a walk as well um, because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. Although I have got this jumper on, so I'm extra, extra snug. Nice, isn't it? Watermelon is the best, so fresh. I've cut up these watermelons really funny. Nothing's symmetrical. Mmm. I like any fruit that's been in the fridge. Honestly. But I found out that watermelon has a lot of electrolytes. Is that true? <laughs> We bought the big watermelon from M&S. So I would highly recommend if you have like a Indian or Sri Lankan or Turkish shop near your house, go there and get your watermelon because M&S rip you off <laughs> because it was the smallest watermelon. Whereas if you go to one of those kind of Indian shops or, you know, the watermelons are huge and they're fresh and they're so much sweeter but I think it's because it's imported exported imported in South London if you're from South London you know you know exactly what I'm talking about there's these like shops that you can go in and you can get fresh mangoes fresh watermelon the one that's close to where I used to live is called London Road and that road is where Sambal Express is and that's where all the Tamil shops are and Indian shops are and you just get the best fruits there. If you know about rambutan, oh, absolutely love rambutan at this time of year. It's it's like a fruit. It looks like a lychee, but it's really hairy. And you open it up, and then there's this little sweet fruit. Matt doesn't like it. He doesn't like the whole consistency. But I kind of grew up on these fruits. And rambutan, mangosteen, mangosteen, oh, another great, great fruit. Um, so if you see those fruits, just pick it up and let me know you have and say what you think. Wow, look at all of these pastries. <gasps> Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. I didn't even say good morning this morning because we woke up extremely early. We're going to, um, sorry, we're going to Amma's and we stopped off at Lidl because their bakery is top tier bakery. If you know, you know. Um, do you say Lidl or do you say Lidl? I say Lidl, Matt says Lidl. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to get Amma. We got Amma um, a pan au raisin because you all know Amma loves that. It's like a little pastry with all these raisins in it. She absolutely loves that. So we got her that and we got this bread to have some with, uh, to have some with egg. And the thing with the bread, you can see that, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. It's warm, it's really nice and warm. So it's gonna be really yummy to eat. Amma, this is for you. Look, Amma's here. Hello, good morning everyone. <laughs> we woke up really early. Uh -huh. Here, look, Amma's here. <laughs> pan chocolate and pan raisin. Look, pan raisin. And pan raisin. Which one's your favourite? Pan raisin. Yeah. <laughs> we have been buying a lot of these little yogurt pouches. It's just a nice little snack for work. So I'm going to keep this in the fridge for now. It is a lot later. I went and got my nails done because. Um, my lady that does my nails, she was in today and I actually booked this appointment with her a while back. Um, so nails are all done and I feel, I feel good. I said to Matt, when I get my nails done, I feel like me. It's a weird feeling. I just feel really kind of put together. So um, yeah, happy with that. I'm going to make myself a little coffee now. We've made, we have a, at home, we've got a 
in our machine we can put beans and it grinds it for us so it, the coffee is really fresh so I grinded well Matt grinded some coffee beans today so we've got it in this little box and I'm going to use the old coffee machine um, that we just kind of left here later on I've got I'm meeting up with my uni friends so um, you would you would know them if you've if you've been watching Wow, I'm really struggling to talk. I think it's because I haven't had coffee yet. Uh, but yeah, if you have been watching my videos, you will know my three uni friends. So going to meet them later on. It's weird today. The weather is a little bit... I had to put this sweatshirt on, this little jumper on, when I went to get my nails done because it's a little bit cold. The sun's out, but it's not hot. So not sure what to wear later we're going into kind of central london um near london bridge so need to figure out what to wear i did bring some options with me because i have a dress option i have trousers option i think we're going to a pub so just kind of this cozy pub um so i guess i don't need to dress up dress up you know it's not like we're going out out <laughs> right coffee time It's just funny because we're so used to having such a big chunky chunky machine and we started off with this this is the sage bambino so it's a mini one right and we started off with this and i remember when matt was like right i'm buying a coffee machine i was like absolutely not we don't need a coffee machine it's going to take away from our experience of going to the coffee shop do you remember i said that to you mm. and i was like no we don't need it it's just it doesn't make sense now i couldn't imagine a life without a coffee machine <laughs> I'm using this little cup. This is the mini Le Creuset, the mini one. Ooh. Oh, cute. Oh, yeah, it's three plus. Look, mom, my mama got this for my little nephew. No, mama, not for Ella, because this just says three plus. And it's a little kind of vitamin supplement. And then for herself, she went to the doctors. Someone I mean, come in, come in. She, <laughs> she had a blood test done, and the doctor said she was borderline. Is what's, it? What's the she's borderline with cholesterol, so she needs to lower that. So she's got this cholesterol guard. Um, is it two for five pounds? Two for five ninety nine. Two for five ninety nine from Holland and Barrett's, and this is for heart health. Two thousand mg. Do you want to ask the doctor before you take it? I'm just chilling with Amma. I'm gonna do her hair. So Amma dyes her hair. I don't know if you've been part of my kind of YouTube channel, but we have gone and tried natural hair dye because I'm pretty sure Amma is allergic to her hair dye. Mm. We've tried it all, and this is the one. Are you still allergic to this? Or is it? Okay. This one hair. Amma has. We've tried a few, um, and this one Amma says she's not allergic to. So this is the natural instincts with coconut oil and aloe, zero ammonia. So this one seems to work. We've tried a lot. We've tried making our own hair dye. We've tried all of it. It just hasn't worked. Amma has a lot of hair. And so this is what's working. So I'm gonna do this for her. Um, but I'm gonna put gloves on because I just went and got my nails done and I can't stain these white nails. <laughs> the thing is, Amma doesn't use hair dye a lot, a lot. It's only because this weekend we have like an event coming so she feels confident having kind of her hair dyed i always say she doesn't need it because my mom is a gorgeous mama but she feels confident having kind of her hair dyed and she just wants to i feel like when whatever makes you feel confident you've got to do it right you know how i was saying i feel like me when i get my nails done amma feels like her and she feels kind of she just feels like herself when she's got her hair done. So I'm gonna sort this out for her now. I do think it's so important to do the things that make you feel like you. And if it's just doing your hair or even washing your hair, you all know washing my hair is such a chore. I always kind of put it off and put it off and put it off. And after I've done it, I feel like, right, finally I've done it, you know? It's one of those things that I don't enjoy doing, but once it's done, I feel like, right, I feel like put together. <laughs> I actually might wash my hair later on before I go out. Right, let's do this.
Ta-da! I'm all kind of ready to go. Matt said he'll drop me off at the train station so that it will just be easy for me to get to London Bridge. I'm meeting my friends at London Bridge. Um, I changed over my earrings just because I wanted... To, because the dress that I'm wearing is pretty casual, so I thought the earrings will just kind of spice things up. <laughs> what I did is I washed my hair just because I thought my hair just looked a bit boring. And you all know I don't like to put a lot of heat in my hair, but what I did is, you know those big heated hairbrushes? I wrapped it around like this, and then I kept a little pin in there. And then I did the same for the other side, so both sides, and I kept a little pin just like this. And then that's how I got this kind of bouncy kind of hair. I don't usually do this because I don't want, I just don't like the idea of a lot of heat, but my hair was just, my hair was just really flat and boring. So I thought if I'd wash it and kind of style it, I use the Colour Wow as well. I always, I always, always use the Colour Wow. I should have shown you, if you want me to next time when I do my hair like this, um, if you want me to kind of show you how I'll do it, let me know and I can show you, but it's really, really quick. Just wash your hair, then get those kind of big, I forgot what it's called, is it the Revlon, the big hairbrush thing? And then you just wrap it around and then you turn it put a little clip, keep it in there for a while, do the same for the other side, put a clip, but make sure the clip is quite loose because if you hold it tight, it will leave a little kink. So just leave it quite loose and then if you let it go out, it kind of looks like this. Right, I am all ready. I am taking my little bag. We're going to a pub in London Bridge. Um, so we are very casual so i'm wearing this nice long dress and i'm wearing trainers and then i'm taking my little side bag as well and in my bag i'm just taking hand sanitizer lip gloss which i'm kind of still kind of scraping the edges i still feel like as soon as i've scraped it all up i'm gonna treat myself to another rare beauty lip gloss and then i'm taking the I've, I've been using this a lot. I really like it. The Maybelline um, Vinyl Ink. I'm going to put that on on the train. And then I've got a little perfume. I don't know what's in here. I I took this on a holiday, but then I ended up use, uh, buying perfume, didn't I? So I didn't end up using this. What smell is it? Oh, it's My Way by, you know, Giorgio Armani. Mmm, that smells some cred. So I'm going to put that in here and then I've got my bank card, I've got Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, that's my phone, here it is, it's behind me and I'm also going to take my phone and my airpods, my phone is chunky, you all know my phone is very chunk a chunk but it works, it fits in this bag so, you know when I first got the phone, I vlogged it and if you watch that video, you know. When I first got it, it took me a while to get used to it because it was so big. And I had the iPhone X, the iPhone X, and it's a mini in comparison to this. Um, but I've gotten used to it now. It always takes a little bit, kind of, a little bit of time, doesn't it, when you change phones over? Little update on the phone, um, if you're wondering, because I know some people, when I, was, when I vlogged that, some people said you were gonna update your phone. So I've got the iPhone 15 Pro, the big one. Um, and the reason why I had to get it is because my iPhone 10 had kind of the screen had started to come off and it was just not working. So I ended up kind of buying this one. The update is everything is the same. The camera is a lot better and the battery life, oh my goodness, I never have to charge my phone. Honestly, I charge it once every two days and it's really, really good. So that's the update. But I think with the iPhone 10, I had to, I had to charge it twice to kind of, um, yeah, because I don't like charging my phone the whole night. Um, because I feel like it overheats and I've watched all these videos um, of people saying please don't leave your phone charging overnight because it can something bad can happen and radiation blah blah, blah. I, I've just heard so much about it I don't think it's true I think it might be a myth I don't know if you know please let me know so I kind of avoid charging overnight yeah. 
I was with a group of people and I didn't want to pick up my camera and start talking. Um, I'm actually vlogging on my phone. I didn't want to carry my phone, um, my camera in my bag because it's just making my bag really heavy to carry this big phone and also my big camera. It's not even a big camera, it's the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, but it's just, it's just extra weight that I didn't really need in my bag. So I thought I'll just vlog on my phone, which should be fine. Um, got another minute and the train will be here I'm meeting two of my friends at London Bridge and then my other friend will come and meet us at the pub I think we're just gonna get nibbles I'm home now Matt picked me up from the train station and he did the cutest thing he bought a gown he bought the gown that I wear at home. He bought that in the car, so I was just snuggly. Didn't pick up the camera or my phone a lot because we were just in the moment, we were laughing so much, so much so that my makeup's been, because I was like laughing and tears and yeah, it was such a good time. I'm gonna go, thank you all so much for watching. I feel like I'm merging days together, I think. I'm not sure, I'm not really sure. It's very, very late now, it's a late one. Didn't expect to be out this late, but uh, I'm glad Matt picked me up from the station. It was, I felt really safe. You know, sometimes when you kind of get the train and things, you don't feel very safe. But Matt was just there waiting and he was out of the car. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know that TikTok when, I did a TikTok of when he sees, no, when she, he sees me versus when he hasn't seen me. I don't know. You know that TikTok when it's like, and then I saw him and I was like, <laughs> um, if you know, you know, if you, uh, none of that makes sense, but I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night, everyone. I love you a lot, a lot, a lot. My Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.